What's up everyone? Today we're going to be cutting up this OG Edelbrock intake manifold. We have to increase the plenum volume. If you can already tell, we have a lot longer studs than normal. That's because we are going to be putting a one inch spacer on there, but that's not enough to increase the plenum volume that we're looking for. So on this road to this budget horsepower build, I was discussing something with Tony. Tony and I decided we were going to go ahead and cut this thing apart. Not a big deal. I'm not overly worried about it. Fortunately, the divider on this old school one is fairly thin compared to ones that you generally see, the ones I've normally dealt with. So I don't think it'll be too much for our old or new. It's not old. It's a Christmas present. Dremel to be able to handle this. So I got a cutoff wheel. We're going to be very ginger. We're going to cut where we want it to be. And then once it's all said and done, we're going to knife edge every part of the inside here. So what I have in front of me is I have a good old caliber. I have a scribe. I've already put some blue layout uh, dye on this so that we can actually I use the scribe, but I, I use a little bit of pencil so you can see. I have just shy of approximately, if you were to go, I, I actually I think it's about 80 degrees. I think it's about an 80 degree angle if you're looking at from here to here. So our acute angle from the top of the divider down is gonna be about 80 degrees. I used not a, a too sophisticated tool, but these are really great for laying out. Um, these actually came out of my grandfather's uh, machinist thing. So I don't know where you're gonna get this exact model, but you can find them anywhere. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead and cut into here and we're only gonna cut so that we have enough area that we can just knock this piece out. We don't wanna go past our spot and we're gonna try our best to just get it perfect. I don't wanna have any overlap. After that's all said and done, we don't wanna have a flat surface. We wanna go ahead and knife edge it so that the air can flow through it nicely. We're not gonna do much more than that. I put the, uh, the gasket over this to kind of get an idea of how the overall shape matches up with the carburetor. And Edelbrock did a great job. I don't think we're gonna have to gut, uh, you know, gut the inside of the, the, the plenum any more than this divider. So. And then of course, after that, we'll clean it up and uh, put a little bit of paint on it. But uh, just, I know, not one to really do a lot of PPE stuff, but uh, respirator and safety glasses in this. Don't don't get that aluminum uh, dust inside your lungs. That's very, very bad. So that's all I have to say about that. Let's go ahead and start cutting this thing up. Ooh, <laughs> she did get out of my hand once, which was, you know, it's unfortunate, but I think we did a pretty decent job. I really need to invest in a proper die grinder as well as just, I mean, don't get me wrong. 
if I'm doing smaller stuff where I need to get that inside there, that Dremel is freaking awesome. But in this situation where I needed to use the larger die in order for me to really get where I needed to be, the higher velocity of a, a proper die grinder over a, a drill, it, it would be a lot nicer. So we did, we did nick a little spots here and there, but you can't really feel. It was just glancing. This one right here, you can kind of feel it. I don't think that'll affect overall performance. I did put a knife edge in it just so that the air can flow over it a little bit nicer. Um, it's, I don't know. I don't know exactly what the degree angle it is. I'd say it's probably close to like 35-ish. And it's a little wavy, but once again, if you had a proper dry, die grinder, you're going to be able to do a lot better job. Now, the reason why I tapered it in, I, I prefer tapering in. So I went a little bit deeper than what... Um, I was talking to Uncle Tony about because what you're looking for is overall plenum uh, volume. And because I didn't go straight 90 in and then just cut it out, I I actually have a little bit more meat on the sides here. So I just dropped it down a small percentage to try to um, compensate for the uh, the edges. The reason why I did that personally was just for better air. Well, to me, whether it will actually affect the airflow having a flat 90, I don't know. But I figured this would be a little bit less of a, an abrupt uh, cut. So, But the, the cut is pretty nice. I don't know how well you guys can see it. She, she didn't come out too bad. Next thing is we got to get this thing cleaned up and uh, a coat of paint on it. So I'm, re I'm really happy with that. I don't think that turned out very bad at all. I did keep checking the, the depth from the... Uh, the top tier here uh as opposed to where the the new notch is so that it's an even notch all the way across do not and i've seen some people on the internet um putting this or doing this while it's in the engine or on the engine i don't know why you would ever do that that's to me is completely mind-boggling but hey you do you but <laughs> I don't recommend that at all. No matter how many pieces of cloth you're sticking inside there. Um, don't do that. Also, don't use a grinder. Come on, guys. Have a little bit of uh, a little bit of pride in your work. Right, grinders are great for certain things, but you're, you're looking for a decent cut here. You want a nice, even distribution of air. Anyways, so anyways, this is going to overall increase the plenum volume, and I'm very excited about that. We're going to get a little bit more horsepower out of it. And, like, the whole premise of everything is all the little things add up. So I'm going to clean up this and then uh, start cleaning up the, the actual intake itself so that we can put a coat of paint on it. Okay, guys, the intake is all set, and I think it came out fantastic. Remember, it is a primer, primer, paint, paint, blah, blah, blah. And uh, I did get a little bit of something on right there. Good, it came right off. The paint is cured. I'm not worried about stuff falling on it right now, but it kind of looked like a chip. It was just a piece of, I don't even know. But uh, this is pretty much the setup that it's going to have in the car. And I, I really am digging it. Now, of course, there's going to be an actual space here, not just a couple of bolts. <laughs> you, you wouldn't really have a good air to uh, feel the air ratio right there. But uh, the spacer will be here to, on Tuesday and uh, we'll mock it up then as well. It, it really came out fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And if we uh, go ahead and remove our air cleaner and the carburetor, set that aside. You can really see, if you look at the height, that's pretty much going to be our plenum volume now. It's it's going to have a substantial, it's not quite like a, uh, a full single plane, but 
you're going to get some nice runners out of this because it is a dual plane and it's just gonna have really nice airflow through it because of the way that we we uh have it knifed edge and everything this i think this came out fantastic now originally it was only gonna be one inch down however seeing how i decided to go at a 85 degree angle cut into it i made sure that we we drop the overall height a tiny bit it's the same height here as it is here same width all the way through and once again the knife edge just to kind of help the airflow through i'm not a really big fan of just flat edges anywhere where you're going to have airflow that creates eddies and uh that's unnecessary turbulence inside the intake manifold so a knife edge is is it perfect not really but it's going to be a lot better off doing it this way so that's all i have for you guys today Remember, the next time you guys see this thing, it will be on the engine and getting ready for a dyno. So, oh, this is a crazy adventure, guys. And uh, I'm really, really excited about learning things. And I'm very, very excited to have learned the whole concept of increasing the plenum size from Tony. Because normally I would have just been like, okay, the manufacturer has it set this way, will stay this way. But <laughs> this is great. I'm trying to learn things and I'm trying to pass it on to you as I learn it. So if there's anything you have question wise, shoot it in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think of this, this video and remember hit that subscribe button until the next time. I hope you all have yourselves a wonderful day and keep it shiny side up.